back to Risk OS Direct, the information and tutorial series all about the Risk OS operating system for the Raspberry Pi. After a prolonged break, it's fantastic to be back and in the first of a two-part final to finish this video series. Last time we took an in-depth look at networking, showcasing some of the advanced network and connectivity features built into Risk OS Direct as default. Today we're going to take a look at coding and software development on RiscOS Direct using popular programming languages such as Python and the more classic BBC Basic. It should be noted however that these videos are not intended as tutorials on how to program. For more information on languages demonstrated a quick internet search should bring up multiple results and information. As always, if you're watching this video series for the very first time and are brand new to Risk OS Direct, we strongly advise watching back episode one of this video series, Getting Started, and follow the video guide from there. At this point, we'll assume you're up to speed on the general user operation and interface of Risk OS Direct. Before we continue, we've had some feedback over the past few months from those of you struggling with the rather unique mouse button layout RiscOS uses by default. The mouse buttons, labelled as Select, Menu and Adjust, means the middle mouse or scroll wheel button acts as the centre menu option, which would be the same as a right click on Windows, macOS or Linux. Naturally, this has caused some user operational problems, with many of you asking if the buttons could be swapped, so a left and right click under RiscOS worked more or less as it does on other systems. Well, luckily, under RiscOS Direct, this is possible, but does involve changing system configuration files. Such operations can pose a risk, and so are done strictly at your own personal liability. From the icon bar, left click the SD card icon once. Hold down the left shift key and from the main SDFS filer window, double left click the boot folder directory icon. This should open another directory filer window. However, if you are instead seeing the configuration window, then you didn't hold down the shift key or the shift key wasn't registered whilst double clicking. If this happens, close the window and try again. Back to the boot folder directory. Double left click the choices folder, then double left click the boot folder and the pre-desk folder. Once here, you'll see a filer window displaying a large number of obey and module files, as well as a number of folders. One of which is labeled key mapper. Double left click this folder to open it. The key mapper module, which is only present by default in RiscOS Direct, allows any key or mouse button to be modified or remapped to another key or function. This is useful if you don't have a required key present on your keyboard, or in our case, if you want to swap over the mouse button functions. If we left double click on the help icon, we will be presented with a numbered list of every key and mouse function mapped in RiscOS, making note of the first number and the key description. If we scroll down to the bottom, we will find the number keys associated with mouse operations. RiscOS mouse buttons are labelled from left to right as Select, Menu and Adjust. It's these latter buttons, Menu and Adjust, we want to swap to more closely mimic a standard PC left and right click options. Next to the help file is an obey file called run. Holding down the left shift key, double left click the file to open it in the strong ed text editor. This will open a text window with some preset key mapper definitions. To swap the mouse buttons, left click on the first blank line under the last entry and type key map 113114 followed by the enter or return key and then on the next line type key map 114113 followed by clicking the save floppy disk icon from the window toolbar and left clicking once the save dialog button before closing the strong ed text window 
To activate the changes, left double click the run icon without holding down any other key. It will appear as nothing has happened, but if set up correctly, the middle and right mouse buttons should have swapped, meaning you can now use RiscOS with a left and right click as you would on a PC, Linux or Mac system. The key mapper module loads in each time the computer is restarted or booted up from cold. It should be noted that some programs might become confused or lose functionality if the mouse buttons have been swapped like this. And for the purposes of this video series, including the remainder of these demonstrations, we'll continue to use RiscOS's default mouse setup with the menu button as mapped to the middle mouse button or scroll wheel. RiscOS Direct is unique in its openness and freedom when it comes to programming and software development. Anybody, regardless of experience, can pick up RiscOS and start writing code in a number of popular and well-known programming languages, such as the Raspberry Pi de facto standard Python 2 and now Python 3. Edit App and StrongEd are both RiscOS Direct's default text editors and IDE. IDE standing for Integrated Development Environment, meaning in the case of StrongEd it is also set up for creating and running program source code such as Python or BBC Basic among many others. StrongEd can be found on the main desktop pinboard and can be opened like any other app on RiscOS Direct with a double left click. StrongEd will load into its standby mode by default showing its distinctive hand icon in the lower right hand side of the icon bar. Left clicking this icon will start a new strong ed session, the editor opening a new blank text file document. This is known as base mode. This can be used as a standard word processor and text editor if required. However, we can set strong ed to any number of programming language environments. On the bottom tab of each StrongEd window, there is an indicator of which mode StrongEd is running in, such as, in this example, the default base mode used for plain text. Bringing our cursor over to the base mode label and then middle or scroll wheel clicking the mouse will produce a pop-up menu. From this, we can select a number of supported programming languages, such as HTML, C and even BBC Basic. At the bottom of this list is an additional submenu labelled as Extra Modes. Moving the cursor to hover over the right hand side of this option will produce a third pop-up submenu with additional supported programming languages, including retro classics like Forth and more modern languages such as JavaScript, PHP and Python. It's Python that we'll select by left clicking its text label. This will put StrongEd into Python 2 mode with additional buttons now appearing on the top window toolbar. Let's type in a really simple Python script. In this example, we'll make Python count from zero by adding one each program cycle to a variable we'll call x. Once the program code has been entered, the file needs to be saved. To do this, click the blue floppy disk icon once. From the following dialog, call your program file a name. In this case, we'll call the program count. We also have to set the file type. In the second text box, we'll replace text with the word Python before clicking save. This will save our new program file to the main SD card default directory. We can check the file is indeed there by left clicking the SD card icon on the left of the icon bar where the file can be seen in the filer window that appears. Our Python program should now be ready to test. To run any code that is supported from StrongEd, left click the running man icon on the top window toolbar. If a dialog box like this appears warning you that the module can't be seen by the filer, then from the main pinboard, double left click the programming directory. Inside, double left click the Python 2 folder. And inside that, double left click the Python 27 Pling app. This will launch a new live Python interpreter inside either a strong ed or edit window, loading a new Python session. Returning to our main program window within strong ed, 
left click the running man toolbar icon once more. In this program nothing will appear to happen. This is actually a good sign as it means the program is being run by RISC-OS but we can't see any text output which is normal for a standard Python operation. To continue we need to break out the program loop which under RISC-OS can be done by pressing the escape key once. Control of RISC-OS should now return to the user. If we want to see the output of our text only Python code we need to run it from a new task window session. On the main pinball desktop middle click the RISC-OS blue cog icon from the icon bar and then left click the task window option. This will produce a new command prompt window which might load using either edit or strong ed apps. As the program is saved to the default location of the SD card directory loading it via the text command prompt is relatively easy. First we can check where we are in the filer by typing cat followed by the return or enter key. You may need to use the side scroll bars to view all the contents of the main SD directory where you can see our count file. To run the Python code type python27 space count followed by the return or enter key. Our Python code is now running and in this case is counting numbers. The program can be stopped by pressing the escape key. If you want to run the program again it will have to be recalled by typing Python 27 space count followed by pressing the return or enter key once more. During our look at Python you may have noticed RISC-OS Direct also comes with a version of Python 3. The main interpreter is also present as default on the main desktop pinboard. As with Python 2, Python 3 can be launched by double left clicking this icon. Python slash PY script or program files that require Python 3 to run can be set under the file type submenu option as shown earlier. This time typing Python 3 followed by the return or enter key. The file icon for Python 3 files is a little different than that from Python 2. As you've seen, Python both versions 2 and 3 are viable options under RISC-OS Direct, allowing for easy creation of cross-platform projects or the porting of source code from other platforms such as the stock Linux-based Raspberry Pi OS, formerly known as Raspbian. Next time we'll continue to look at programming with BBC Basic. That's right, the iconic classic programming language lives on in a modern 32-bit form and comes as stock standard with all RISC-OS versions. With the added advantage of running at native Raspberry Pi speeds and high resolution screen modes, allowing for amazing projects to be created. So do join us for the final episode of RISC-OS Direct.